This film will guide you through the steps of how to pack a high-scale column from Cytiva. HighScale is a pressure-stable column optimized for high-flow media such as Capto and MabSelect. Before you start, make sure you have all components needed. The column, a packing tube, two pin spanners, the chromatographic media, the packing buffer, a beaker for the media slurry, 20% ethanol, a plastic syringe, a pipette, a pocket flashlight, a calculator, and a marking pen. Inspect that all column components are in good condition. Make sure the net rings have a mesh size compatible with the medium used and that the ferrules are tightly inserted and the tubing is fastened inside the adapters. Ensure that the plunger is securely fastened. Attach the packing tube to the column tube to secure a tight connection. Mount the high-scale column to a ring stand or a column holder. Remove all traces of air in the bottom adapter by forcing 20% ethanol up through the net using a syringe. 20% ethanol is better than distilled water since it breaks surface tensions. Leave a meniscus of ethanol over the net. Insert the bottom adapter to desired level in the column tube. Tighten the end housing and the O-ring. Use the syringe to press a few additional centimeters of 20% ethanol through the net. Attach a stop plug. Level the column. If not leveled, the column may produce broad bands. Suspend the medium in the packing solution using a spatula. Pour the medium into the column. Avoid spillage and formation of air bubbles by decanting down a spatula. Top up with packing solution until a meniscus is formed at the top. Before mounting the top adapter, eliminate air by forcing 20% ethanol through the adapter. Insert the adapter at a 45 degree angle to avoid trapping air inside the column. Fasten the end housing. Remove the syringe. Tighten the adapter O-ring. To ensure removal of trapped air, turn the adapter down, expelling liquid out through the adapter tubing. Start a slow flow to fill the tubing with packing solution. Stop the flow when filled and make a drop-to-drop -drop connection. Before starting to pack the column, remember to remove the bottom stop plug and then start the pump. The packing flow rate should be maintained until a constant bed height has been reached. As the bed will start to expand after stopping the flow, the height of the unexpanded bed should be accurately marked. If the reading is difficult due to media buildup on the column wall, a flashlight can be used. High-flow agarose media often needs axial compression after initial flow packing. Therefore, the desired final bed height also needs to be marked. Calculate this final bed height by dividing the actual bed height by the packing factor for the specific media. Mark the final bed height on the column tube. Stop the pump and put a stop plug on the outlet of the column. Disconnect the column from the system. Detach the packing tube from the column over a beaker or a sink. Mount the column back on the stand. Add packing solution to form a meniscus at the top. Before inserting the adapter into the column, be sure to remove all air with 20% ethanol, and then insert it at a 45 degree angle as described before. Tighten the end housing and gently lower the adapter to a level of 1 to 2 centimeters above the bed surface. Tighten the O-ring carefully and remove the syringe. Lower the adapter by turning the end cap until meeting the packed bed. Liquid will be expelled out through the top as the adapter is pressed down. The bed may have started to expand at this point, but this is normal. Continue to press the adapter down until the final bed height is reached. To facilitate axial compression, spanners can be used. Connect the column to the pump with a drop-to-drop -drop connection and remove the bottom stop plug. Now start the pump. 
Finally, condition the bed by running the pump corresponding to 10 column volumes using the packing flow rate. Now your high scale column is perfectly packed and ready for use. High scale, a pressure stable empty column optimized for process development and preparative chromatography.